Hey there, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you're new. My name is Raven, and today we are gonna, gonna try and start the month fresh again. I had the flu for over two weeks last month, and I got over it right in time to be body slammed by a really rough period. So I did not get a lot of crafting or planning or anything done just at all. So I have actually really been looking forward to just making some tea and hanging out and filling out my planner and trying to start off a fresh month and just like theoretically get my life together. There, it's a big order, but you know, tea's magical. We might be able to do it today. So starting off, I actually did the Google Calendar portion a few days back, possibly even the week before that I filmed this, and I wanted to go with a rainbow theme using the color palette from my Etsy shop, and then I completely forgot that that was the plan before I started doing my planner and Notion and everything else, so we're just gonna go with like this really pretty rainbow theme and I also had to readjust a lot of my time slots because my sleep schedule has changed with how sick I was. Uh, there were a few days where I just skipped sleep. I forgot to sleep one day. That's not even a joke. I actually just forgot to go to bed and that was not a fun weekend. I survived and we're here now and now I have to sort of try and restructure my life and make sure I have notifications going off to tell me when to go to sleep. So that was the goal. I've also been working with like new sleep nighttime routines with my therapist and so there's just some like more structural things that I need in my life and hopefully it will prevent me from forgetting to go to sleep. Uh, yeah. Moving to the actual planning portion of the good notes portion, I forgot about that rainbow pastel theme and I wanted to go with sort of just like blue shades for April showers because I thought that was pretty and I thought it was clever. <laughs> And I actually really wanted to just go with my actual handwriting this month instead of trying to do the stickers. I feel like it was more fun for me to do it that way. And also it just sort of felt more expressive towards me. Even though I did make those stickers, it kind of just felt like I was leaning in towards perfectionism. And I know that that's, that's like a lot to put on digital application that you just use to organize some things, but I just really wanted to use my handwriting. And I did use some of the stickers that I made last month. The only thing I regret is that they're not blue and I thought that I could change them, but I can't, so I'll have to get over it. But I just started to move from there into like pre-planning. I put out some habits that I started working on in April, no, March, and hoping to just continue working on sort of solidifying. I kind of feel like March and the last three years have all just been fake anyways. So like, if I just want to restart this week, why not? After filling out the month and then just some of the habits that I want to work on, I started sort of reverse engineering how I normally film or how I normally plan out my videos instead of trying to plan what days will be uploaded. I decided to go ahead and start working on what days do I want to film, just to sort of have an understanding of how much content I can realistically make. I do not like filming my day in the life videos back to back because I forget what I have already filmed that day. And then I just sort of end up with like a really weird mismatch. I need at least that 24 hour buffer to forget everything that I had already filmed the day before. I found this quote on Pinterest and I thought that it was kind of perfect. I am struggling lately with finding quotes that are not super positive. I'm not trying to be depressing and I'm not trying to sound super edgy. It's just that when I, f I feel like, you know, oh, the great thing about the rain is that you can look for a rainbow. It kind of just I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me and I don't want everything to have to be super inspiring. I just wanna 
like let things be let my feelings sit where they are and this is just a quote from pinterest i don't need to get this super deep i, I really miss talking to you guys it's been a long month <laughs> i started filling out sort of my big goals for the month and uh the smaller to do's and like shopping things a lot of this is just from last month because last month was mostly <laughs> pet rest i'm trying to st I, I think i've accidentally got myself into sewing um i've been working on getting all of the parts that i need for my machine so now i want to get like an iron so that i can you know iron fabric because I'm not a real adult that has an iron and I don't iron my clothes. Other than that, moving on towards the key. I normally do all of my social media post planning in a completely different notebook with the same exact spread that is almost pointless just because like that's all that it's for is it just has these little highlighter dots in it. So I decided to try and get that into this system. So I made a color key to represent all of the different uh, social media posts that I like to post or schedule. And then I just took my two logos and just put them in for every day and so that as I start scheduling out posts, I can go ahead and do that. I am so not good at scheduling posts. It's something that I wish I was better at, but also there's so many platforms that you're supposed to like stay consistent on that it is not realistic for my brains. After all of that, I decided to go ahead and copy and paste all of the pages that I would need for the weekly pages. I really need to make a version of this for my shop because I, I actually really like this spread. It's based off of what I used to bullet journal with. If you used to watch those videos, I just started using my iPad last year for all of this. So I've really liked being able to just make PDFs and have everything pre-made for me instead of trying to draw the same lines over and over again because I'm not really good at using a ruler. Went ahead, went in, and filled out all of the dates, and then I also remembered that I like to track the moon. It's been a weird month, so I forgot about the moon. Very weird month. And so I put in all the dates, and then I it sort of occurred to me that if I had all of those big goals and those to-dos all visible every week, that I might actually work on them because right now my issue is and it always has been that the monthly calendar doesn't really exist to me because i don't need to go on to it and like look at all of the to-do list i i really only just look at the one day that i need to fill out and so if i just have all of the things pre-filled maybe they'll actually happen thought it was a good idea thought i was pretty clever so that's what i started working on and then and then after i put all of the like events for just like weekdays videos small things i went in and took all of the habits that i want to track and Maybe I'm saying this in the wrong order, but I took all of the habits that I want to track and I basically just put them in as to-do lists on every single day of the month because that's I, I don't use the habit tracker except for when I think to do it, which is like maybe once a week, which means like it's not really helping me because I can't remember what I did last Tuesday if it is Sunday. So I put them in. I can use my little key to fill them out the way I've wanted to. It's just, I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. And then I took all of the big goals from that month and the quote and like all of the things that I, I felt like were important enough to do a monthly planning. And I put them in the goals category on my weekly spread. I feel like I'm word vomiting a little bit and I'm so sorry. But I feel like having everything actually in my face will make it a lot easier to track and work on. So I just, the point of these tools is to make my life easier. So why not try? I think now that I know that this is a system that I want, or I mean, this month we'll see how, if this is a system I want. And you know, maybe next time, I will actually have like a routine with it. I also think this would have been so much easier if I had thought to use a second window to copy and paste everything from the monthly spread, but you know, 
didn't think about that until I was editing this video and was like, why did I do this? Basically just wanted to make sure that everything from that month was visible on each day and each week because it doesn't feel real to me. And then I realized that I also have those spring lists that I, um, yeah, I don't think I, well, wait, no, this was the first season of the year. So yeah, I haven't had the chance to use them yet, actually. Then I just started filling this out like it's a uh, normal day of all of the things that I need to plan. That's sort of how I actually just use it. Should I start adding like a look through of the previous month? I know some people do that on Instagram and it always looks so pretty. After all of the planning, I went ahead and started doing the whiteboards that I forgot about in February. So I have this one. It's pretty small and it goes in my office. Literally all I did on this one was put the days that I'm going to be filming and then all of the uploads. It's right next to my desk so I see it. It's just not something that I really need to have a lot of information on. This second whiteboard is way too big to, you know, fit on my desk. So I, you know, sat on the ground to do it and you'll see that Mischief was so helpful and he really just wanted to contribute to the family planning. He's such a good supervisor. So far, I haven't found any blue ink on him, but he did erase a lot of the things as I was writing them. So basically other than putting in our grocery shopping plans because we're trying to go to Costco every other week instead of trying to go to Kroger every week because boy do we impulse shop in Kroger. I went onto Facebook and I just sort of found a bunch of local events that sounded antisocial and fun. So did all of that. I took a picture of the list that we already had from last month and just like put the things back up that hadn't been crossed off because I knew I would forget and Zach didn't want to write those measurements down. I don't know why. We have been trying to come up with like at home date nights. It's not been super successful, but it's still fun in theory. We try to play Mario Kart on Mondays, which when we do, it's really fun. Uh, I think that's a game that we're both pretty level at skill-wise, so it's always entertaining. And then on Wednesdays we watch anime, though really we just watch anime whenever we want to and whenever Zach finds a new one that he tells me I have to watch with him. And Thursdays has been Taco Thursdays because we randomly had Taco Bell on a Thursday and decided to just keep going with it. It's probably not the worst thing that we could have done randomly but yeah april just feels like one of those months that uh doesn't have a lot of events for me personally moving on to notion i basically didn't show this, but I, I did end up deleting all of the lists and collections that I have up here. But the main 
thing that did stay is that I changed everything to a blue theme with these blue watery rain themed pictures and I added the quote that I had also in my <laughs> planner. And the reason why I deleted all of these lists is because every time I'm like, oh, I really want to have an in-depth list for like clothes shopping or something. I'm like, oh, I already have that shopping list on here. Eventually I'll go and redo it because it was a template from when I first got my Notion account and I, I, I'm i never gonna redo it. I really just like, I looked at it recently and all of them and was just like, these are not set up how I would like them to be. So I didn't show deleting them, but just know that this is all a lie. They are all deleted. And really this is just like the quotes, the pictures, and then all of the project boards below for like videos and stuff. Moving on to favorites. These are not favorites that I just bought in the last month, but just like things that have like really made me happy over the last month. Starting with the bedding that we got from Ikea and Target. It is like the perfect kind of material. It's all cozy and comfy. I love those candles. I can't find my funnel cake candle that I really, really, really liked. So that's upsetting. I also have that pillow from Ikea. I freaking love having throw pillows in my craft room and I just think that one was so pretty. Moving on to a little bit of makeup. I love any foundation I can find in a shade that works for me because I, a lot of them just look very orange on me. That Buxom lip gloss I actually got last summer and I just think it is such a pretty freaking color and it's just so comfortable because it's not sticky. Ignore the fact that my nails are very naked in this video because I had bitten up cuticle and needed it to heal before I could redo them. I freaking love this Beetle gel kit. I got one of their smaller kits just to see if the colors were any good. I ran out of base and top coat so I decided to just get one of the ones with like a lot of colors and I really like that freaking glitter. That glitter is like really freaking impressive. I actually do have some crafty favorites. I showed that beeswax puck at the beginning. It's been really great because some of my thread is very, very old and was literally falling apart in my hands while I was trying to work with it. It was terrible. And then this is the Loran, Loran 7 inch sure grip hoop. Nothing has been holding the fabric taut, but this I have not had to readjust and it is amazing. The grooves, everything in it, it like the way it closes all the way at the top instead of leaving that little bit of gap. It has been great. It's a little bit pricier for a embroidery hoop, but as something that like to work with, it's so functional and it's been working better than any of the options I've had. I have not really worked on any projects because of how sick I was and not wanting to give people my germs because I was working on gifts last month. I really just have a couple of items. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you're having a wonderful day or that tomorrow is better. If you're still listening, please leave me any sort of like rain emojis or cloud emojis in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the near future with another video. Mischief says goodbye too. Bye.